welcome or welcome back to my channel uh, today we are in Tampa Florida on a little mini vacay and I said let me stop by and talk to the people real quick because I forgot to tell you guys about the books that I'm planning to read in February so we are well on our way in February but let's pause for the calls and talk about these books the first book this is in no particular order of course but if you're curious to see what book I'm currently reading make sure you follow me on Instagram follow me on Goodreads and you'll be right up to date sis so the first book is the art of scandal now um, this book is actually yeah 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 so I asked my bookstagram girlies what book do I need to read and I listed out a bunch of books that were on my TBR and this book is the book that they said you know what you got to check this one out so it says on the night of her husband's 40th birthday Rachel Abbott receives a sexy explicit text from her husband and she quickly realized it was meant for another woman divorce is inevitable and Rachel is determined not to leave her 13 year marriage empty handed meanwhile Matt a rising star he's um, a mayor with his eye on the White House can't afford a messy split in the middle of his re-election campaign. They strike a deal. Rachel gets $1 million in their lavish house in wealthy D.C. suburbs of Oasis Springs as long as she keeps playing the ideal black trophy wife until the election. That sounds very... Sounds very good. So it's romance, contemporary, contemporary romance, fiction, interracial romance so I'm here for that the next book that I am planning to read is um, in my reading journal I have a goal to read more books by black men and so I chose this book pretty p-r-i-t-t-y on the verge of summer before his senior year Jay a soft soul in the world of concrete while his older brother is everything people expect a man to be athletic and, and in charge Jay simply blends into the background of everyone else except for when it comes to Re Leroy so it sounds like we have a LGBT relationship adult young adult contemporary romance LGBT fiction and realistic fiction and mystery so this sounds great and look at this cover isn't this cover beautiful I love that I love that the next book the next couple of books I'm going to list are some palette cleansers so this is right up you baby readers alley so these are quick reads that we can read and you know I just came up with that a palette cleansing book but then when I googled it it's actually a real thing so these are small books in between the maybe more heavy books that really get us to thinking they're just kind of like just something simple uh, just not too not too heavy to get us prepared for the next book so the first palette cleansing book that I want to get into is waiting on Wendy this uh, it says what would you do if you had six months to live initially Kellen Turner plans to live as normally as possible then goes peacefully then go peacefully into the night but his longtime crush waitress Wendy Bell finally works up the nerve to ask him out okay we love a woman taking charge and he realizes that he may have something to live for and to fight after all and to fight for after all so this is romance african-american romance contemporary romance fiction so it's 116 pages i'm sure it's going to be fast paced because how we go from zero to 100 i'm here for this the next book is drop cover and hold on by our girl jasmine gullery so i've read a book by jasmine in the past but not a novella such as this so it says it takes nothing less than a faithful natural disaster to throw two opposites together 
and the ground shaking charming story short story by the new york best-selling author drunk on love which is the book that i read by her this valentine's day so okay baby readers daisy murray has her heart set on binge watching rom-coms instead earthquake traps her inside a bakery and an impossible rude and insufferable handsome owner and head baker so i'm here for this and again this is gonna move real fast because if it's 40 pages we got a lot to work through with just 40 pages the next palette cleansing books that i want to talk about is a series a 90s kind of love now one thing about me one thing about me you want to get me to read a book put a 90s r b lyric or a title in the title of your book and i'm gonna read it okay drunk on um, the next couple of books lay your head on my pillow hello this book is by tanzania glover and it says if a love doesn't feel like a 90s r b like if a love doesn't feel like 90s r b i don't want it and i'm here for that okay to avoid being let down tony riley doesn't ever make birthday plans but a once in a lifetime private lesson with famed artist arlene parker Arlen Parker just might be the worth breaking just might be worth breaking the rules for okay and this cover is so cute I wonder if there's some alternate covers I'll have to do some research on that the next book in the series that I'm using as a palette cleanser is pretty brown eyes by Tia Love popular sex columnist and IG influencer Miss, Miss, how do you say the CIA? Sha, Mesha, Mesha Simpson on the hunt for the man she can take seriously and experience the kind of love her parents have shared for 40 years. But her dating life is nowhere near the glamorous, nowhere near as glamorous as her supporters think it is. Okay, so we have an influencer trying to get into the trying to get into it these books sound perfect for valentine's day the next book let's chill by ellie j so katara no there's no t in there Katar, karia karia mcintyre agreed to participate in an insta marriage reality show only to walk, walk down the aisle and come face to face with the man she left at the altar five years prior. Oh, this sounds good, y'all. Contractually obligated, contractually obligations, contractual obligations, Lord help me, forced the two to embark on a journey that once eluded them. Hmm. That sounds interesting. And again, baby readers, these books are between 40 and 100 pages. And... I'm ready to get into it but again I would also I would like to see some alternative covers because it's the same picture but these are different people what's happening the next book if I ever fall in love by Samantha Sam Strahan I want to say any can to Michael Strahan hmm. she wants a divorce he wants to stay married for Ivy and Keegan one last date will decide whether or not their marriage is worth one last try. Okay, since the 90s kind of love is an R&B inspired erotic romantic series that takes some of our favorite songs from our favorite decade and gives it a whole new meaning to going behind the music. All right, I love this, I love this. And guys, for February, because we did not get to a lot of the books that I wanted to get to in January, I've decided to bring over some of those books as well. So we're going to go for um, Made Whole, A Good Good with Money Workbook by Tiffany Aliche. So we're going to get into that this month as well. And Self Care, A Black Woman's Guide to Self Care by this author. 
I'm not going to mess up her name. But we are going to get into those books. If you've made it this far in this video, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment to this video. And don't forget to share this content with another fellow baby reader. And until next time, bye. Oh, oh, oh.